Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? Let me get my sunglasses on so I don't get blinded by this hot sun. My goodness, it's hot. It's 90. It is 90 degrees out here, and it's just, it is just ridiculous. You know, you, you just don't expect this kind of weather the first week of October. Let's see if I can get this thing. Okay, that's better. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, I had I, many things surprised me on my trip, on our trip. I think one of the things that surprised me the most was when we rolled in, when we flew into Heathrow Airport, the most, I think it is the busiest airport in the world and certainly the most, I would say, diverse airport in the world and what I mean by that is you've got a lot of people from a lot of different countries coming into into the UK and of course I think a lot of that has to do with <clears throat> of course you know the, the the whole idea of empire you know you had the British Empire until World War II and then after even after that you had the British Commonwealth and so you yeah so you know the British influence has spread far and wide around the world you know Hong Kong you got that they were involved with Singapore a whole lot. You know, all the colonies in Africa, of course, North America, uh, India, Pakistan. <clears throat> so there are a lot of people not who are not, you know, native, besides Americans, of course, uh, coming through that airport, and it amazed me that all every last bit of the signage was in English. And everything except for some specific flight information was in English and that really struck me because you know you look around this country with this move towards multilingualism and kind of poo-pooing the English language I mean like like people who come here don't need to learn the language and yeah this is kind of a social commentary on the United States it's, it was refreshing to me to see such a, a cosmopolitan airport say, okay, look, English is the language we speak here. And, uh, you, know, that, and you know, that's one of the reasons why I believe that England continues to really have an out-of-proportion influence on things that go on in the world. Because they have ways, they have the way that they do things, and it's always worked for them. And people respect that. Unlike in this country where, where institutions are being torn down right and left, <clears throat> and everybody thinks that everybody else's way is better, a better way of doing things. Well, you know, I think the American way was the best, but there's, there's, at the rate we're going, there isn't going to be an American way anymore. I, I wish more people could have the same attitude that the British have, <clears throat> or the people in the UK have, excuse me, because I realize it's British, Scottish, Irish. Welsh, you know, they have a way of doing things, and that's that's what they stick with. They, you know, do something, do it right, right? So anyway, that's just my commentary for today. <coughs> Don't do very many of those, but I just thought that that really did surprise me. I thought, wow, that's good. I, I, I like that. If any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Like and subscribe. Appreciate when you do. We only need, I don't know, 547 more subscribers to get to that thousand subscriber mark. I only mention it because Google irritates me. All right. See you on the next video. <laughs>